So finally, let's look at the general solution for tan x. So tan x equals k. Let's look at tan in degrees first. There's tan between 0 and 360. And k, you can see, will be intersecting at two points on the curve between 0 and 360. Now, if you inverse tan both sides, then let's say that this solution is alpha, as we've done before. So there's alpha. Now to get the second solution, we would add 180 degrees to it, because if that distance is alpha, then this distance is also alpha. So the second solution can come from 180 plus alpha. Now, what was the period of tan? That was 180 degrees. So remember for sine and cosine, period is 360. For tan, it is 180 in degrees. So in general, if I want to find, if I want to keep on finding all the solutions along the line, uh, to the right or to the left, I would add or subtract multiples of 180. So I'd have 180n plus my value of alpha. And you can see that this, if n is 1, is exactly what that second solution is as well. So this generates all of them. I don't need to have two equations. If n is 0, I get the first one. If n is 1, I get the second. If n is 2, I get the next one along, and so on. So that is enough to be the general solution for tan, uh, tan x equals k, in degrees. So for radians, it's a very similar story. So there's my k. There's my two solutions. The first one's going to be alpha. The second one, because we're in radians, is pi plus alpha. But because the um, period of tan in radians is already pi, the general solution is pi n plus alpha which takes care of this equation as well when pi, when n is 1. And when n is 0, I get the first solution. So this generates all of the solutions that I need. Okay? And that's how we can find the general solution for tan.